Hey everybody, here's a sneak peek at the art journal page we'll be making today. I'm working in my Large Dilutions art journal and I'm covering the page with Nouveau Sparkle Powder. This color is Lunar. And what this is, is the watercolor powder. So it's water reactive. As soon as it's mixed with any kind of water, it will start to create its own color mix. And in the end, it will dry like watercolor. So I'm just, after I've applied this all over my page, I'm putting on some water spray and I will allow this to dry naturally so that the entire background will have this gray watercolor look. Then I'm going in with a stencil and Dina Wickley Media gloss spray and I'm using paper towel to block areas so that I can not have distinct lines around my stencil. And then to use up the extra gloss spray, I'm flipping the stencil over and pushing down so that I'm using up any of the spray that's on top of the stencil so I have both the positive and the negative design. When that's dry, I'm going in with the exact same stencil and a mini blending tool with some Dina Weekly Media Neon Paint. And I'm putting that through the stencil in several places. And now I'm using a stamp with some archival ink and I'm just covering the entire background with these roses. When the ink is dry, I'm using a Posca paint pen to color in the top of the roses in pink to kind of match the pink that I've done through the stencil. Now that everything is dry, I'm using a pencil to just sketch in a flower outline. And this is very loose, very abstract. So I'm just kind of sketching in where I want it to go. And then I'm going to use a rub-on from Stamperia to create the stem of my flower. So I'm just cutting out the strip that I want to use for the stem, taking the backing off, and using my Tim Holtz Ideology Remnant Rub tool to transfer this rub-on directly to my page. The colors and names of all the products that I'm using in this video are listed in the description below, so check that out for more information. After I have the flower sketched in and I have now applied the rub-on stem, I can begin painting in my flower. Now because I did use a water reactive pencil when I was drawing this, this pink paint that I already used for the stenciling, it's the same color, is going to react slightly with the pencil that I chose because I used a watercolor pencil. So it's going to take several colors of this pink to really get a true pink color, but I'm okay with it because it kind of adds to the grungy nature of this page. So I'm just going to keep layering the pink until I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to once again go in when the paint is dry with my pencil and just kind of add in those lines again to reinforce the outline of the flower. And when I'm happy with the outline, I'm going to grab some white gesso and start to outline around the flower with my paintbrush and the white gesso. Now the reason why I'm doing this with white gesso versus regular white paint or a colored paint is that Gesso is semi-transparent, so it will allow some of the inking and stenciling that I've already done on the background to shine through it. So it's, it's in a way creating a whitewash effect, pushing that background back a little bit, subduing it, and allowing this flower to pop out. So I'm just going to do this all over my page. And then I'm going to grab a Dina Weekly Media stencil and some liquid pearls on a mini blending tool and apply some stenciling all around my flower. When that's dry, I'm adding some yellow paint onto the page just to add some more color and interest and make the background pop a little bit and also create a place to put in my quote. So I'm going to write in my quote with a black Posca paint pen. I, of course, waited it until the yellow paint is dry. And I'm going to write out the entirety of my quote in this script lettering. Now you're going to see in a second that even though I wrote in the whole thing, I decided I didn't really like that the lettering is floating. So I'm going to grab some black gesso and then write it again with a white Posca paint pen. And when the entire quote is written out, my page will be complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and were able to incorporate these ideas into your own artwork. I'd love to see what you're working on, so please take a picture and post it on social media with hashtag ArtJournalJunction. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our mixed media and art journaling videos in the future.